In this video, I'm going to show you 5 Google Form add-ons that you must use. So if you have a Google Form which is ready, then add-ons will enhance the form by adding new features to it. So an add-on is basically a third-party app or website which you can add to your Google Form. And now I'll show you some of the most useful add-ons. Also the timestamps are in the description so you can check it out from there. So let's get started. First. Just go to Google Forms on your laptop. So search for forms.google.com and then select the form to which you'll want to add the add-ons. After that, click on the three dots which are over here and click on add-ons. So since there are many add-ons over here, you can just search for them on the top. So the first one is form limiter. So click on it and what this add-on does is that it automatically shuts off responses to a form if it reaches a certain limit or on a certain day or time. So if you have an event with only limited seats, then this will be useful. Or if you want to stop accepting responses on a certain day, then you can use this for that as well. So just click on install over here. Then they'll ask for some permissions. So just click on allow. So once you've installed the add-on, just refresh the page once. And then you'll see a new icon over here of add-ons. So click on it and then select form limiter. And now to set a limit, just select set limit and it's opened a pop-up at the bottom right. So now based on what type of a limit you want to set, select an option from here. So the options are like based on date and time, based on the number of responses or a spreadsheet cell value. So I'll select number form responses. After that, enter the maximum number of responses that you want to accept. So I'll keep, let's say 50. So they've said that this will stop accepting responses when the responses are greater than 50. And when the form is closed, this message will be sent. So you can edit it from here and then just click on save and enable. And it's done. So now only 50 people can respond to this form. Now I've gone back to the add-ons page and the second one is booking calendar. So you can just search for it on top. So it's this one over here. And this is pretty simple. What this does is that it allows people to book an appointment using calendar. So just click on install. And now if I click on add-ons, you'll see booking calendar has come here. So click on it and then click on configure booking calendar. Over here, select free plan, then select the calendar from which you'll want the user to book an appointment. So here you'll get a list of all of your calendars. So just select one and click on save. Now if I scroll down, then here it's imported all of the available slots from my calendar and it'll work like a drop down menu. So a person will be able to see all of these options and they can select any one of them. So I'll quickly show you how it works. This is the form and if I scroll down, you can see it's showing event slots and I can pick any option from here. I've gone back to the add-ons menu and the next one is form notifications. So you'll find that over here, but if it's not there, you can just search for it on the top. So this has two uses. You can email the person who fills in the form once they submit it or else you can decide to receive an email every time someone fills this in. First, we'll just install it. Again, if I go to add-ons, then select form notifications and click on open. So like I said earlier, they have two options. One to notify you every time you get a response. So just enable it. Then you can enter the email ID on which you'll want to receive the email. And then you can decide after how many responses you want to receive an email. So you can change it from here. And the second option is a thank you email. And this is sent to the person who fills in the form. So if I enable it, then here there are a few options. So you'll have to make sure that there's an email question in the form so that they can get the email from there. So under email field, you'll have to select that. And then if you scroll down, you can select the subject and the body. 
So you can edit both of these. And once it's done, just click on Save Configuration. So now every time a person fills in the form, they'll receive an email. And after every five responses, I'll receive an email. Now the fourth one is called Certify Him. So you can just search for it on the top. And it's this one over here. And Certify Him provides a certificate to a person when they respond to a form. And using this add-on, you can take the responses, add it to a certificate, and then email it to the person. So just install it from here. Then click on the add-ons button here and select Certify Him. Click on Show Controls. After that, click on Next over here. Next to Status, you'll have to switch it on. So click on Turn On. After that, you can select the passing percentage. So if it's a test with points, then it'll calculate the percentage. And based on that, you'll give the certificate. But if you want to give it to everyone, you can just put this to zero. Then you can select the template. So just click on Change Template and select whichever one you like from here. And if you want to create your own, you can design it by clicking on Design My Own. So I'll select this one for now and click on Save. And now it's done. So I'll show you how it works. I'll quickly fill in this form. Now I've opened my emails and as you can see, I've received my certificate. And now it's time for the last add-on which is adding a timer to your Google Form. So it's the second option over here. It's called Timer for Google Forms. And like its name suggests, you can add a timer to your form and the person must submit the form within the time limit. So just install it. Again, if I go to Add-ons and go to Timer, then click on Configure. And from here, we can set it up. Click on Enable Quilgo and then click on Go to Quilgo. So we'll open it in a new tab. You'll have to agree to the terms and conditions. So now we've reached our dashboard and click on Create Tests. Then you can select when it starts. Then choose if it's public or restricted. They have some new features for proctoring and you can go through it. And once you're done, click on Save Settings. And now it's done. So just copy this link and when you share it with others, it'll open the same form with a timer. So I'll show you how it works. I'm opening it in a new tab. Here they're asking me to sign in. Then they've said that you've 20 minutes to finish it. So on top there's a timer and the form is the same as what we had created earlier. So these are five add-ons which I feel are really useful. And if you want to know more Google form tricks, then check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.